Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 17, 2020. Hey everybody, what a day we had yesterday with a lot of whipsawing back and forth. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves our beverage of choice, settle into our chair, and let's prepare for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. I hope you all had a great evening. We had a great evening yesterday. Did a class last night called the Three Eight Trap. Had a great response from that. We're gonna be keep. I'm gonna. We're gonna keep doing that class for a period of time. And I want to say thanks to everyone. Just a shout out to everyone who's taken that class. It was a blast. So this morning. We have a market that is hopping and popping in a big way this morning. Last night we had a news report that a drug from Gilead is showing some promising results in the treatment for the coronavirus. Now, that doesn't tell us a whole lot. What They were careful to say that, hey, it's a early in the test and also that it would be a long time before um, there was a treatment made widely available but the market just zoomed higher on that news and you know it is we're grabbing onto any ray of sunshine and we're ignoring anything that is bad in the market right now so let's take a look at what's going on first off we have a good pattern here in the Dow notice that there's our trend in this nice little consolidation in here although very wide uh, price action can happen in that consolidation this is a great pattern for the market and this is the pattern that I want to trade most of the time unfortunately here we are in a situation where we're gonna gap up an extreme amount this morning leaving most everybody standing there um, with nothing to do because unless you are already taking the risk on this and gambling around that earnings report there's not much you can do this morning with such a massive gap up now this morning you want to be really really careful remembering we're heading into the weekend remembering that yesterday we nearly doubled the death toll the daily record death toll in uh, this market so there's a lot of reasons to be a little bit cautious and careful please keep in mind that we have um, we will be diving headlong into earnings next week and well so far those earnings numbers haven't been good good let's also keep in mind that our unemployment numbers are over 20 million folks unemployed and that states have announced they are running out of money to get them aid or support for that and that the small business administration is already running out of money for the small business loan program trying to help those small businesses survive this shutdown so we have significant issues out there that we're dealing with but right now the market is choosing to ignore anything and here we have this glimmer of hope of a treatment maybe a year down the road but the market is gapping huge on that morning, um, on this morning's open. So be careful with this. One of the things you don't want to do is get caught up in the fear of missing out. Chase into this move just in case that gap happens to be the end of the move. And there may be reason to believe that could be possible if we take a look at our technicals in the chart. Notice that the Dow is going to gap up very near that 50-day moving average that's continuing to fall. Keep in mind, our technicals in these charts are still horrific, and the earnings reports that we're seeing are horrific. So take a look at that. We're popping up into that resistance area. Now, we could certainly go higher. We could come all the way up into that 50. We could even go higher than that, you know, with this exuberance that we feel this morning and maybe push right up into these levels, just really pushing up here into that chart but keep in mind that we still have a lot of things to face here on this recovery and it's not going to be probably as easy as we would like to believe that it is going to be let's take a look at the uh, nasdaq um, excuse me the spy spy if we take a look at the s p 500 you can see very similar pattern here and this is a bullish pattern and i was really hoping that we would get a nice controlled open today um, we get a nice 
a uh, nice way to trade because there are a lot of charts setting up for potentially great trades um, out there. But unfortunately, we're gapping beyond most of those. We're going to make the risk in those really, really high. So you're going to have to be really careful and think about that planning into your weekend. But right now, big gap up here in the SPY. We're going to pop up here. We're going to challenge our 50-day moving average right here at the open, maybe even surpass that 50-day moving average. That is a very critical point and a very critical point of resistance that we'll want to keep an eye on. If I zoom this up a little bit, I'm going to have to move that line just a little. As you can see, that 500-day moving average right, hit, right there, we've got the 50 crossing down through the 500 day moving average so certainly a technical resistance point that we'll want to keep an eye on and the reason i had that line there is because that's actually a price resistance point in the chart so we're gapping straight up to it watch that carefully for that opportunity that we could see that become the resistance point in the market let's take a look at the queues qqq gapping up huge this morning now the Q have already conquered its 50-day moving average. We have held it, and now we're just wildly bullish this morning, ripping higher um, up in here and pushing into the next level of resistance. And I got to tell you guys, I don't look at this however you want, but you cannot tell me that this is not an overbought situation right now in the NASDAQ. We're just firing this thing up, extending this thing out. So far, we are in an, over, uh, an overbought situation considering where we are um, on earnings and everything else this quarter. So watch that closely. Just don't get caught in this idea that we should just chase into this, that we have sounded the all clear. There's going to be a lot of trouble as we go forward here. So just just temper that emotion a little bit this morning as we look at this market. Let's take a look at IWM. And by the way, I'm not saying there's not good trading to be had. There could be good trading to be had, but just make sure that you're planning that trading very carefully and planning very carefully, not just diving in headlong without, you know, with that fear of missing out. Um, you know, being the pervasive reason for running into the market. Let's take a look at IWM. You can see IWM definitely moving up uh, nicely in this little trend. We had this pullback. It hasn't participated uh, with the other indexes nearly as much. And one of the reasons is um, uh, finance companies or big banks are a big part of this index. And yesterday, um, our financial sector was down, continuing to move down on those horrible earnings that they've come out with and um, I'll, I'll tell you this I don't think I've ever seen a sustained rally in the market that didn't include the financial sector so keep that in mind um, it may be a clue or a warning that there may be trouble ahead right now we're gapping up substantially here we haven't broken through that resistance um, of those highs of last week yet um, at the morning open but let's take a look here and notice that we still have a tremendous amount of work to do and we may be just moving up here in IWM right into that 2018 low um, on this gap up this morning 50-day moving average still diving heavily and we are a long ways from recovering the technicals in IWM let's take a look at the VIX the VIX likely going to gap down substantially this morning on this big bullish move here in the market. And this is going to be a, a successful test of resistance. We dropped through that 50 day moving average, rallied back up there, tested it. We had that fear yesterday um, looking like there could be um, a problem here, but boy, they put a floor in the market really hard yesterday after multiple tests to the downside, and we ended up getting that pullback. Now we're going to get that gap down, so that's going to be a confirmed failure of that 50 day moving average this morning. I don't know how far we'll gap down this morning, but just watch that carefully and don't be surprised if we gap down and see some profit taking coming into this market hard before we head into the weekend. Just Note that and be careful not to chase. We could see that number start to creep up after this gap down this morning. Let's
let's take a look at T2122. And this is probably the, the place where we get the, are going to get our clearest indication of being overbought. T2122 this morning is likely going to gap all the way up into this area here this morning. And that's not a big surprise when we're moving up 800 points overnight um, in um, in the market. So let's watch that closely. We could be right up here in that bearish reversal zone and heading into the weekend. That's a pretty good opportunity for some profit taking. However, I will say that anyone that short the market, and I think there's a lot of people that are short the market expecting a pullback after such an amazing run. We could actually get a short squeeze firing off this morning where everyone that short is being forced out of those trades because the pain of the loss um, could be a little bit uh, too much and that means we could move even higher um, after the morning gap we could push on through and push on up as those short traders cover um, for some painful losses due to this gap but just keep in mind there may also be that possibility that soon after that profit takers will come in and say hey we've had an amazing week an amazing month in rally here let's start powering out and let's start taking those profits um, expecting that pullback after we test those 50-day moving averages so think about those things and just be really careful about how you approach the market for today let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and we have a very fortunate situation with this rally this morning because we have virtually nothing for the market to react to on the economic calendar we got past all of these bad really ugly reports here and we have successfully it completely ignored them um, in favor of the rally and today we really don't have anything on here to affect us so we get the free and clear day here to rally um, and no bad reports to really come out we've got james bullard speaking here today from the fed that's always important to pay attention to but unlikely we're going to learn anything new and um, we're free and clear um, to just party like it was 1999. Let's take a look at um, um, our earnings calendar today. We have a lighter day on the earnings calendar, not as many companies reporting today as um, we have seen. We do have a few notables to pay attention to um, today, but not that many. KSU, KSU. Kansas City uh, Southern will be reporting today. It looks like they're moving up just slightly. Maybe got a little bit of a bullish pop in their earnings report. All of our shippers uh, probably still working really hard to keep up with demand in shipping products so that would make sense a um, little bit of pop up here this morning in ksu keep an eye on that nice little trend nice little pattern showing up here in the chart may actually be something to be um, watching for a potential trade um, musa musa will be reporting today keep an eye on that certainly in a downtrend no report as of this morning not a happy chart um, and tremendous volatility in this price action so watch that when that when that report um, RF Regions Financial will be reporting today looks like they're trying to move just ever so slightly higher here um, this morning I don't I'm not sure if they've reported or not notice that we do have a little bit of uptrend if they can hold in here now this may this little gap up may just be a factor of everything gapping up this morning so watch that close and last but not least stt uh, state street reporting this morning and you can see they're looking at a little gap up this morning once again i can't tell you if that's um, as a result of an earnings report or if it's just responding to this massive gap up in the market. Keep in mind, there is a trend here as well, and we will be pushing up into that resistance level right there at the open. So watch those charts carefully. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, um, just 
it's been a, a great week for me here um, with YouTube, having crossed over uh, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone, for that. You guys are, are awesome. It makes me feel good that the effort that I put into putting these videos out every day is being uh, received well. And you guys put it, clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments really makes it worth it for me to get up early every morning, produce this video, get it out to everyone. And I really want to say thank you to all all of the kind comments you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it and if we keep working together if we keep staying focused on how we want to approach the market for the day continue our planning efforts it will help everyone's trading and i can tell you for me um, doing this kind of work um, every single day of my trading life has made a massive difference for me being able to move me into trading full-time for over 15 years and um, i just want to say thanks to everyone who is participating here you guys are awesome so let's take a quick look at a few stocks that may be setting up and there are some really good um good patterns out there to keep an, an eye on you know i started looking around yesterday and just just ran into tons of stocks with potential setups if you take a look at cgc here this is a cannabis uh, stock one of those cannabis plays and you can see cannabis beautiful consolidation here after this rally so far we haven't been able to break through that but this little pink line here is my price alert if i can find that point where this is actually going to pop through come up into that chart i may want to find an entry into that trade so um cgc looking very good here right now in this nice little consolidation now keep in mind where i drew that trend i have no idea where that trend is actually going to be will that pop out of there today and this begins the trend or will it be a week from now i don't know but i'm going to be watching that area very closely and as long as this continues to hold price support right through here and keeps tightening up this this just gets better and better as a potential trade whether it pops to the upside or pops down i don't really care just give me that signal in here and i have a potential trade cgc is one to maybe keeping an eye on ctl i placed an alert on ctl and yesterday at the end of the day it decided to pull back a little bit more maybe one to watch cautiously but one of the reasons i like this is breaking that downtrend this is one of those plays where um, um, all the cable providers and, and sellers of content um, have done quite well um, during this shutdown because everybody is home, the kids are looking for something to do, and the folks are buying, buying all kinds of uh, packages um, to keep them entertained. And as you can see, popping up here and pulling back. Now, if that can recover, and you can see this morning, it's bouncing up here. So we're recovering this pullback really clearly this morning, that possibility that this could be that first pullback and pop, and that opportunity for, to trade this higher so keep an eye on CTL um, ETFC is another chart that's looking pretty good and as you can see I've placed an alert on that chart as well there's my pattern that I like to trade we break that downtrend we hold that downtrend as support rally and then we get this nice little resting pullback notice that this is kind of that combination of holding its price support and holding a trend if the bulls fire up in here this morning pushing this up through we could get a nice nice entry signal into these trades now i do want to mention the fact that if you if you don't like trading stocks that are below the 50-day moving average this is right in there where we could be below those averages but there is a nice potential pattern here to trade take a look at etfc one for your list one to be paying attention to fox a is another one of those that i've got on my list that i'm watching you can see i've placed a price alert here there's that pattern again where we're breaking through um, resistance areas we're consolidating these moves we're holding in there moving over toward trend I'm looking for that opportunity 
in that chart. Seeing the same kind of moves in stocks like um, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola moving up could be reaching that trending point could see that pop coming in there nice little defensive play and a good dividend pair might be a nice easy trade coming in that watch that another of the um, casinos showing that strength lvs showing that nice higher low now we haven't quite popped through that resistance level right there as you can see but we're putting in this nice little tight consolidation if we can get that energy in here pop through there i want to know about it in that chart we have charts of all shapes and sizes doing the same thing mcdonald's beautiful potential setup had a nice little bullish push yesterday at the end of the day as you can see popping up here this morning reaching up here it's going to trip my alert first thing this morning pushing up into this area there may be an opportunity here at mcdonald's and this is one of those charts that could once again be pushing up into those resistance levels so consider that carefully you may not want that trade can, uh, pushing up into there but a nice potential trade setup all the um you know even with that in in mind so keep an eye on that there's more of these charts right now than you can possibly shake a stick at this little consolidation that we've had in the market has been very productive on a lot of charts. Starbucks looking very, very good. There's that pattern again. Moving over here toward trend. Looks like it's going to gap up this morning. Nice bullish move. Breaking its downtrend. Starbucks moving back up. So lots and lots of charts to consider. Lots of for you to uh, potentially be uh, planning for. Now whether you want to trade those heading into the weekend, hey that's up to you. I can understand wanting to just stand aside a little bit after this huge gap up this morning. Kind of taking an assessment to see whether or not we're actually going to hold this level or if we pull back from here with some profit taking heading into the weekend but with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and more than importantly i want to wish you a wonderful weekend everyone please stay safe and please remember all of those folks that are out there working in the grocery stores and the places that we need to be um, open continuing to put themselves at risk and all of those healthcare workers huge shout out to you for all of the efforts that you have a lot of folks are being affected by this um, their families are being in impacted by the massive work hours that some of those healthcare folks are having to do. Just a huge thank you to you. You are in the front line of this battle. Keep up that hard work and let's do our job, everyone, of supporting those folks, staying home, staying safe, and protecting our families. Everyone take care, have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.